Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how I make all the final bits and pieces to go with the Fortuna dress. And then I'm going to show you the finished look. So the first thing I'm going to do is style the wig. This is a synthetic lace front wig, but it's heat resistant. So it means that I can use heat to style it. I've set it on these curlers. So these are Velcro rollers that I've taken the Velcro off. And then once they were all pinned in place, I've actually steamed it. I'm using my handheld clothes steamer. I've given it a really good steam um, and it's actually been sat for a couple of days cooling and drying since. So now I'm going to take these curlers out and hopefully it's given it a really good curl. So let's start at the bottom and see how it looks. Oh perfect, look at that ringlet. So we're going for a very sort of princess look with this one so I wanted to keep it long I didn't cut it like I did for the last dress for the um for the flora dress so I want to keep it quite long and pretty ah oh, fantastic oh this is just perfect so I'm so happy with how these curls have held I'm going to go ahead and take the whole head full of curlers out ah oh, that's amazing they're like the perfect princess ringlets I am going to brush them I'm not going to leave them as ringlets though Here's how it's looking just fresh out of the curlers. Um, I kept the center parting on this one and I want to try and get a couple of nice sort of little waves at the side there. But I'm just going to leave it like this and give the curls a little bit more of a brush, give it a spray with some of my ha hairspray and then yeah I'll cut the lace off when it's time to film the final part of the look. I've actually brushed it way more than I intended to and it started to go into these beautiful sort of retro waves. This is how the finished wig looks. Next I'm going to decorate the horseshoe, so this is a genuine metal horseshoe that was given to me by my sister which came from one of her horses and to decorate it I've got some silver ribbon, I've got some silver crystals I've got this packet of gorgeous little velvet purple flowers and as usual I'm going to glue everything on with my E6000. leave that to dry and then I might glue the ribbon down on the back just to make it hang better I'll see how it goes when I hold it up the last thing I'm going to do is revamp this pair of shoes which I have had for years and years and years um, they're looking a little worse for wear they're a bit yellowed and the soles are coming unstuck but overall they're not in really bad condition so all I'm going to do is cut out the leftover lace from the corset and the cape and glue it all on all over the shoes and all over the heels using my trusty E6000 glue. So here's the finished shoes. I, literally all I've done is cut and glue lace all over them but it's given them a bit of a revival. Um, you can still see on the inside that they're a bit yellow but you won't notice that when my foot's in them. So there's still a couple of bits on the sort of sides where you can see that they are actually quite well worn. But for catwalk shows, for stage and for photo shoots, you can get away with it because they're only going to be seen from a distance. So doing something like this and revamping something you've already got and giving it a new lease of life is a good way if you're on a budget for a photo shoot or if you're on a budget for a catwalk show just to make things go a little bit further. I love that you're still getting the sparkle from the silver underneath coming through the lace as well. And they're just going to give exactly the effect that I was after with the dress. So that's everything finished now, so I'm going to go and do my makeup, put my wig and the dress on and I'll be back to show you the finished look.
thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed seeing the process of me creating this gown and styling it and then filming the finished look so let me know if you enjoy seeing me do everything from start to finish like this if you enjoy it over a few videos really in depth or if you prefer it maybe condensed with less information just in one video um i hope you found it useful as well if you so please subscribe if you haven't already make sure you click the bell and click the option that you get notified when i release new videos or i don't know how it all works they keep changing it so thanks again for watching and i'll see you soon